Welcome everyone. In this tutorial we're going to take our original temperature converter and change it into one that uses a graphical user interface. So before we get started you'll need your original temperature conversion program up. Alright, so once you have that open, the first thing we're going to do is change the name of our program from convert to convert underscore GUI for graphical user interface. And then we'll go down and add this part to our comment. So uh, our comment will be a program to convert Celsius temperatures to Fahrenheit using a simple and then we'll add the rest of it to a second line. So we'll add another comment, pound, graphical, user interface. Okay, so then the first thing after the main is we want to set up a graphical window. So after the colon, we're going to add the comment um, create the graphics window and then we're going to type in win equals graph win and then parentheses quotes and the name of our graphical window we'll just say is a temperature converter and then we'll close the quotes and we're going to make our window 300 pixels wide by 200 pixels high and then close the parentheses. Then we're going to do win.setCoordinates and then the upper left coordinates are defined by 0.0, .0 and 0.0, .0 and the bottom right are 3.0 and then I want it to be fairly detailed so I'm going to add double it and do 4.0 and then close my parentheses. Now the next thing we need to do is to draw the interface so we'll add a comment that this method draws the interface and then we won't need these two lines because we're not going we don't need to give a textual message to the user since we have our graphical user interface so delete those two lines and then we're going to call the text method, set up a point, 1, 3, close the parentheses, comma, and we'll put in Celsius temperature. Colon, and then leave a couple spaces after the colon, and then close the parentheses, and then we want to draw it to the window. This will leave a couple spaces between our title for this entry point and where the entry window is. And so we'll type in draw and then we're drawing it to the window. So close the parentheses and then we'll need to do this also for Fahrenheit so we're going to do text point one comma one and then close the parentheses comma and then we're going to type in Fahrenheit temperature, colon, a couple spaces, quotes, close the parentheses, dot draw, so we always want to draw it to our window, win, and then close the parentheses. Now we'll need to allow for input, so we're going to type in an input variable and set it equal to an entry point, so we'll do point two comma three comma and then we want it five pixels wide so that there's enough space for someone to type in the temperature in Celsius and then we'll set it we'll type in input dot set text and then what the user will see is just 0.0, .0 until they enter something and then we need to draw this to the window so input dot draw parentheses win, close parentheses. We'll also need to do this for the output, which will be in Fahrenheit. So we'll type in output is equal to text point 
p comma one, close the parentheses, comma, and this will be blank, so we'll just do two quotation marks with nothing in between them. And that just leaves a space for the to put the conversion to the screen after it's done. Okay, don't forget to close the parentheses and let's go down to the next line and we'll type output dot draw win close parentheses and then we'll, besides the output we'll also need to do a button for the user to click to do the conversion so we'll type in button is equal to text parentheses point parentheses 1.5 comma 2.0 close parentheses comma and then we'll put the text converted on the button and we'll close the parentheses and then don't forget to draw the button to the window, so button dot draw and put your win variable in there. And then just for some decoration, we'll draw a rectangle around between the outside of the window and our text. So we'll do rectangle point one comma one point five parentheses comma point two comma two point five parentheses parentheses dot draw win and close the parentheses. Now we'll need to wait for a mouse click before anything's done so we need to add that functionality and add a comment so pound wait for a mouse click And then we'll need to get that click. So we'll call the get mouse method. And then we'll need to convert the information. So we'll type in convert input as a comment. Go ahead and scroll down. So we need to change our Celsius conversion, what we're going to do is evaluate the information inputted. So we're going to do eval and then parentheses input. And then we don't need a message because the person is going to just input information. So we'll do input dot get text method. And then our our Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion is still the same, so we don't have to do anything there. Finally, we don't need this output print statement because it's going to be on the screen. So we're going to leave a little message. So display output and quit button. So we'll type output dot set text. And then we want our output to one decimal place, so we'll go ahead and put quotes, percentage sign, 0.1 F, close the quotes, and then another percentage sign, and then a space, and then Fahrenheit, close the parentheses, and then we'll reset the button to quit, so B U T T O N, set text. click occurs, we want to get that mouse information and then close the window. So we'll add a comment, wait for click, and then quit program. So we'll do win.getMouse, call that method so that ends in parentheses, and then we'll do win.close, and then open and close parentheses. And then we still need our call to the main at the bottom. And that should be it. So let's go ahead and save this. We want to go file save as so that we don't overwrite our original convert program. And we want to call this convert underscore GUI. And don't forget to add the dot PY at the end. And then let's click save. And then we'll go to run. 
and run module. And our window is coming up, but it says we have graph win instance no attributes set coordinates. So let's go back and check our program. We'll exit out of this. Oh, it's supposed to, instead of set coordinates, it's set chords. Is the name of the method. So let's go ahead and run this again. OK to save. And here we have our program. So we'll type in 0 degrees Celsius and we'll hit convert. And it says it's 32. And then it closes our program. Um, it closes pretty fast, so let's try adding a wait command. And we'll say two seconds. So let's hit run and run module and save it again. And we'll go ahead and add zero, hit convert. And now it waits for two seconds and then closes the program. And that's it for this lesson. See you next time.